what's up what's going on people of youtube it's your boy the hobby collector and i'm here coming at you guys with the jbl extreme versus the jbl extreme 2. now like i said inside my um jbl extreme speaker review if you haven't seen that go check it out uh that video i posted that video about 10 videos back one of my uh workers he seen me you know he liked the quality of that speaker and he seen that we had the uh the second edition the jbl extreme 2 on sale he went ahead and brought that speaker brand new at Walmart, gave it to me so I can take it home and, you know, just test it out and try it out and just show the differences cosmetically and just sound quality. And to get straight to it, to get straight to the point, I thought his speaker was going to be way louder than mine, the JBL Extreme 2, so you expect it to be not two times louder, but a little bit louder. One thing I knew they were gonna do with the second one was fix the bass that everybody said was an issue, and they fixed it, but too much to the point where it sounds like the JB, it sounds exactly like a JBL Charge 4 or a Charge 3. It doesn't sound like an extreme speaker. Believe it or not, my speaker is still a few decimals louder. Um, I was kind of shocked by that. I think the bass is what helps it be a little bit louder because you can tell it's a, it's pretty much a night and day difference with the bass to the point where he actually the same night that he opened it and he plugged it in and put it side by side at work with mines and played music that same moment he wanted to take it turn it back in because we all was trying to uh you know we all was anticipating how that, how that jbl extreme speaker was gonna sound and it kind of disappointed you know it looks nice it looks some some um design elements look better than my speaker like for example i like how the strap looks the jbl um logo link and advertisement on the uh, actual strap um i kind of like how his uh buckles on his strap is uh brushed kind of look like brushed uh aluminum versus my uh chrome look i like i like them both i like both looks also on the plastic on his is uh on the rubber pieces on the like on the feet and stuff like that and on the edges of the speaker is actually uh translucent a little bit if you actually pay attention to it compared to mine's you can kind of see through it a little bit which is kind of dope you know i like that design element but as far as the sound quality oh uh, and that speaker is a, is a tad bit uh larger and thicker if you pay attention to it the box that comes with it is a little bit smaller than the uh, jbl original extreme box but the speaker itself is a little bit thicker than the uh, jbl extreme uh speaker but the sound, like I said, let's go back to the sound quality. Um, the quality is good, the quality is good, but the, the loudness isn't as loud and the bass is no longer there at all. Uh, I can honestly, honestly say that. And that's due to the, the customers and I knew they were gonna do that, you know. It's common sense they were gonna do that because that was the biggest complaint from the first speaker. When I was watching YouTube videos to get myself happy about my extreme speaker while I was on its way from Amazon, that's all people kept on saying inside their video. Well, the bass kind of drowns out the sounds and, and from their video, it actually was. I kind of was hearing what they were talking about, but when I hear the speaker in person, oh my God, like there's no way in the world that's too much bass. Like it sounds so damn good. Like it's crazy, but I do agree that when it comes to some music, some sounds, and just having a full array of different sounds hitting your ear, you do want to have something that's more well balanced. But if you're just trying to bump some music inside your house and you're cleaning up, or you're just trying to be in the vibe in the zone or have people over, y'all trying to have some music plan, the Extreme 1 is way better than the Extreme 2. I'm sorry. Well, I'm not sorry, because everyone that was listening to both of them side by side even said the same thing. If it wasn't for him throwing away his receipt, you know, and not being able to find it, he would have took it back. His plan was to pretty much take it back and go get mines used or brand new, you know, and save some money. So with that being said, people of YouTube, that's going to do it for this video. Sorry I don't have a side-by-side -side volume comparison. I did do a volume comparison side-by-side, -side, but it was copyrighted music. But to be honest with you, if you already didn't watch JBL Extreme speaker videos, especially with the first speaker, that's pretty much your sound test right there. You don't really need to hear the Extreme 2 speaker because it sounds exactly like the Extreme speaker, except for minus the, va minus the bass and minus a little bit of loudness. That's pretty much what it is. It's still, it's still a loud speaker, but compared to the first Extreme speaker, it, does, it's, it doesn't really, you can tell the difference. Side by side, you can tell the difference.